Hey guys, it's Dev. Welcome back. Happy Wednesday. New reaction series once again. We started Mr. Robot. Now we are on to The Orville. A show I've heard a lot of good things about. I'm not much of a Star Trek fan, but if it makes fun of, you know, Star Trek things and even Star Wars, I'm down for that. Just sci-fi in general. And I love Seth MacFarlane. Listen, Family Guy is probably one of the greatest shows, maybe animated shows of all time. That, I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I personally don't think it is. I think Family Guy, just how it's been going forever, I think it's great. I think it's really funny. Obviously, there's episodes where you're like, eh, I didn't care for that. that with long shows like that, it, it is, but they're still going to be classics. Like The Simpsons, a classic. I think Family Guy's better than The Simpsons, but I do still love The Simpsons. I don't watch the newer episodes as much as I do the Family Guy episodes, because I still watch new Family Guy episodes. It's It's enjoyable. It's good stuff, and I love it. There's also meta commentary into it, and Seth, Seth MacFarlane's good. I like Seth. I didn't really love that one cowboy movie he did, West or Once Upon a Time in the West. I don't, I don't fucking remember, but Ted 1, Ted 2's okay, but the Ted series is pretty good. I enjoy it. American Dad's all right, and um, I don't know. I don't think he did Bob's Burgers, but American Dad's good. Cleveland Show's a, a miss, though. I didn't really care for the Cleveland Show that much. To be clearly honest, uh, but yes, the Orville. I don't know much about it. I do nor know Norm McDonald's in it. So once we ever get to that character at some point in time, rest in peace, Norm McDonald. Um, classic, legendary comedian, one of the best to ever do it in my eyes. Really, one of the best. Thing about Norm is like his jokes aren't like the overly like insane, but they're funny on a base level. But the way he the way he tells the joke and the, the the way he talks is is the best part about it is the best part of his comedy and uh i'll i'll miss him forever but yeah so let's get into orville season 1 episode 1 and 3 2 1 i mean this looks sick there he is there's the man the legend himself uh oh Oh, no. oh my god don't tell me that's how he don't tell me that's how he okay and that is what gives him motivation to conquer the voyage a year later jesus christ already You wanted to see me, Admiral. Ahead, have a seat. Oh shit! It's what's his name from uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Firestorm, part of Firestorm, at least. Personal stuff that's been going on. It's not really worth going into. Can I have one of these mints? Those are marbles. <laughs> and I don't know. <laughs> what? You were at the top of your class, and your teachers all thought you'd be captaining a heavy cruiser before forty. But this past year, the the tardiness, the sloppiness. Oh, my God. You've been put on report for coming into work hungover six. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There's nobody who can drive a starship like him. Didn't he once draw a penis on the main viewing screen of Outpost T85? <laughs> He's a lot of penises. On <laughs> oh, shit. Fighter, but I gave him a really neat personality. Hey, dude, this is my buddy Ed. Hey, Ed, nice to meet you. I'm Justin. How are you? Oh, great. <laughs> Super. Always, always such a treat to meet one of Gordon's friends. So, what's going on? That's so cool. That's so you funny. You win. Nice. Okay. Poor Justin. Dead now. He seemed like a good guy. <laughs> seemed like a good AI. Ugh. This looks good for a TV show. I'm going to be completely honest. Cut to commercial break. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> so to sum up, yeah, if you Keep it below the equipment and don't spill any, sure. Oh, dig it. Boom. <laughs> okay. 
All right, uh, Lieutenant Commander Bordas, our second officer. Bordas. I've never met a single gender species before. Your entire species is male, isn't it? That is correct, sir. So, there's probably not a lot of arguments about it. Leaving the toilet seat up and that kind of thing, right? No. Buckland's urinate only once per year. <laughs> really? That's... I mean, I'm, I'm up two, three times a night. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> I tell you, I was surprised to see any Kalon serving in the fleet. Aren't you guys legendarily racist? <laughs> regards humans and other biological life forms as inferior, if that is your inference. Oh, that's great. Thanks. You are... You will find me to be your most capable officer. Okay. All right. Every bit of porno on the back of a shuttle in exchange for some pills. Oh, wait. No. Really? <laughs> Autumn squash. We're sucked into space. Autumn squash. Okay. Okay. Well, we got to know all of our characters. Yeah. I've been sleeping on this. Good for Seth MacFarlane. Good for him. I wish there was I wish this music was playing as they were like inside the bit the dock. The bridge. <laughs> you don't have to investigate that. I have already obtained the information. Oh. Shall I withhold it? No, you can tell us. There are no bars. How about strip clubs? Gordon. Sorry. There are no strip clubs. <laughs> There's a message coming in so he the just knows he can like search. Hey, there's Norm. Okay, he's like a glob. Oh, please, there is nothing at all professional about this situation. Okay, this is my ex wife who I have not what? seen since my divorce. A year of talk to me so where it wasn't like an insane. I was the one who suggested couples counseling. Couples counseling? The therapist was your brother-in-law. Okay. We'll see about that. We'll see if uh, they start falling for each other again. It's probably bound to happen, honestly. Um, I guess I just want to know that you're going to be okay taking orders from me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, I'm a professional. Don't worry about that. It's good to hear. Actually, the folks up on the bridge were asking about you earlier. I was telling them you're actually a really cool person. Oh no! Primed the pump for you up there, you know. Oh shit! All good vibes. All good vibes. First, though, priorities. <laughs> you know it. It's so fucking awkward. I don't like that. Look at all those planets. Moons, maybe? I don't know. Entering orbit of Epsilon 2. You take your time? Signal them already. Aye, Commander. Man, you could cut the tension with a knife. Do not make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> we need protection. Protection from what? The krill. There have been no krill. The krill? Scientists play ground. Incredible, isn't it? Yeah. Here, follow me through the botany lab. In the botany lab? Whoa! It's like a... Couldn't even tell what that was. Development here that will change the face of the galaxy. Whoa! Is that one of your projects? No, no, that's Dr. Jovic, our chief botanist. <laughs> it's dark to what? Because I couldn't risk divulging the information over open communications. This way. This is really cool. This is like a scientist's haven. Oh my goodness. So, it's an anti banana ray. It's really interesting. We need no longer fear the banana. <laughs> Do you understand what happened to this banana? It's rotten. 
because a month has passed. Since both directions, like, could somebody use it to go backward in time and tell their younger self not to make a terrible life decision? Oh my god. Think of the benefits. Entire crops grown in the blink of an eye. Starving population supplied with limitless amounts of food. I wonder if life-threatening CERN is thinking about this. This would be great. Move. Derek, what the hell are you doing? Oh, of course it's a Derek. <laughs> Derek, listen to me. Don't do this. Back off. Back off. Holy shit. Captain. God, there's no way we're going to be out by five today, are we? <laughs> we're here in peace. Uh, they just came down for... The lab is having a pizza party and the krill are invited. Oh, man, can, Morris, we go... can we please go down there? Did you say a pizza party? What are these guns, dude? <laughs> these pistols. Kavaska! <laughs> Oh, holy shit. Give me the device, and perhaps I will not harm you. All right, he's got a gun. We have something better. What? Seatbelts. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. I love that. That's so good. He kept him in his pocket. Smart man, or s right. smart girl, actually. All right, Commander, you win. We'll send you the device by remote shuttle. When you receive it, we'll transmit the activation code. Do not take long. We won't. Maybe she's not such a bitch. State-of-the-art weaponry on this ship, and we're using glue. <laughs> we're using glue. Macaroni man to put on here. You can make a macaroni. Right, make, make I make macaroni. really good macaroni. You can make a macaroni. Really good macaroni. Alright, let's get her out of here. Let's get her out of here. Alright, they're getting back. They're gonna get back together, no doubt. Holy shit. It's just a gigantic ass tree in space. Imagine riding. It's the holiday where you plant the trees. Is better, isn't it? <laughs> so they get the device back, or not, not now? Not, just not talking. Yes, yes, yes good. good. Yeah. You got it. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, Commander, Commander Grayson. Grayson. Okay. Sweet. I knew it was all gonna work out. Okay. That was awesome. That was cool. I'm I'm happy that I'm starting that. That was really good. Um, like I've said before, I mean Seth MacFarlane is really good, and he's good at what he does. And I think this this show for me at least just starting the first episode has a lot of potential to be really good. I mean you got a Star Trek feel, obviously, like with the krill for sure. And just their 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 outfits, and just their ship, the whole world, or the whole just galaxy universe. It's more of a Star Trek vibe. There's a little bit of Star Warsy vibe there, but I sense more Star Trek. And I'm not even a Star Trek fan. I'm not. I mean, Wrath of Khan's cool, and I guess the Next Generation's also pretty good. But other than that, I I mean, I much prefer Star Wars. But this, I'm enjoying this. I love the comedy in it. It's 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 your average Seth MacFarlane comedy. I wonder if they're gonna get into cutaways in this. That would be pretty funny. Um, but there was moments in there. I'm like, that's a joke that you would hear in Family Guy because obviously Seth MacFarlane. But uh, yeah, him and his girl, ex-wife. You know, they they're gonna deal with it. They'll be all right, which is. Cool to see, and I think they'll be a good pairing together. Um, and I love all the, all the cast, all the cast they got on the bridge. It's it's pretty fire. It's pretty sick. 
Um, Alara, she's like really overpowered and like kind of a badass and probably could kill everybody in there. Then you have Bordis. I love Bordis. He is he's great. He's great. They it's funny. His species is all male. They pee once a year and he's so he he's technically wouldn't be funny, but the way he says things and just how it is is hilarious to me. I so I think that character has a lot of potential to be like really funny. Um we saw Norm Macdonald as that little glob dude, whoever the fuck that was. That, that that's cool. Can't wait to see that character more, hopefully. Uh but yeah, we went to Epsilon 2. There's this planet, so like a scientific haven. There's so much experiments, you know, botany, particle acceleration, shit like that. Um and they have this device that can make make objects. They put objects in a bubble and it they can send them as far as they want into the future, which is a very interesting concept. And wondering if like something like CERN is like talking about that or whatever, which it is goofy, is goofy. But I mean, hey, scientists love random ass concepts, and they like mocking people too. So like, we don't need to get into it. But the CERN mockery thing, where the 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 human sacrifice, like obviously that's a joke because. Most scientists are not religious at all. They, they, that's why they're in science. They're like, okay, I want to prove that God, there's, there's no God. But the Christians see it, they're like, oh my God, this is the devil at the work right here, right now. This is, this is the devil. And you're just like, what? Like, no, they're scientists. They're fucking with you. They're trolling the hell out of you. Good debate. I do love the conspiracies about portals and, Demons and shit. They're fun conspiracies, but some people take them very too seriously. Nonetheless, we're getting off topic. Um, we we have this Isaac robot dude. He's a Kalen or K- K- Kylan, K- K- whatever, whatever the yeah, what whoever it is. Apparently, their species or planet is super racist, and think they're that certain species or robot, whatever it is, is better than everybody else in the galaxy. So. But he see he doesn't he doesn't like just outward hate, hate him he just thinks he's better but I don't know I don't think there will be anything bad about that but yeah it uh, seems like the big bads are the krill very Star Trekky really really Star Trekky um and yeah yeah that's fun I think that's that's a fun start to the show. Excited to see more, excited to get into more, and reminder, every single Wednesday, that's when we'll be having Orville, and uh, yeah, yeah, Miss Marvel as well, I think there's two more episodes, so you'll see that one today as well. Um, let me know what you guys want me to add, show-wise, because Stranger Things is done, and the Miss Marvel is going to be done here soon, so I could definitely add some shows into the realm of possibilities. Let me know what you guys would want. Comment it down below. Maybe do a Q&A if you guys have any questions for me. Comment and comment them down below and I will answer those questions um, in my next video. Or not next video, but whatever video I record next. Uh, after you've seen this one. Um, if that makes sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Episode 1. It was fun. I'm excited to get into this world. Seth, Seth MacFarlane's great. I think this is a big thing for him, and I, I'm excited to see how much he can do with this. Uh, shout out to Logic for giving me the motivation to watch this because he has a song called Orville, and he's talked about it on in interviews and shit like that about how, in live streams of how much he loves Orville. So, yeah, shout out to him. Um, but yeah, that was the first episode. Every Wednesday, hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you later. Goodbye.